I promise God, if you get me out of this situation, I'll only share my cookies with the man I married. Sabrina's love life was hit or miss. Oh, oh my God! Sir, are you okay? I am so sorry. Oh. I could have killed you. Until she hit him. Sabrina. <laughs> you married? I don't know if marriage ever goes out of style. I think that, that I think that every woman and every man has even though he might not admit it, mm. have a secret dream about finding the love of their life and celebrating it in front of their family and friends and God mm -hmm. and saying, this is my boo. And we're going to be together for the rest Wait, of our lives. Who? My boo. Oh, OK. Uh, boo. Do, do you call Robin? Do you, you know I do. <laughs> <laughs> I call him boo and many other things. All my buddies are always begging me not to get married. But they're all married. You know, so they, they always want me to stay single because on the weekends, they want me to be the guy that has the nice party at the house and we're gonna do another game night and mm -hmm. wanna come watch the, you know, football over at your crib. But, you know, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. when they're getting a nice home-cooked meal and they're at home with their wives and they're doing their date nights and I'm by myself going to, you know, eat out, and, you know, or order pizza, they don't see that side. They don't care about that side. So I think that, you know, the, the, the people who, don't support marriage or, or don't encourage marriage in my life are the guys that are married and have no intentions on not being married for a very long time. So it, the, the irony is, is crazy. It's something that people are like at a point right now in their life where they want to make some decisions to come together. Mm -hmm. And I think this movie is going to really empower people, encourage people, regardless of what the family's doing, mm -hmm. that it's all going to work out for good. Right. And the love is going to be a good thing for them individually as well as their family. It comes down to what you want. You know, you have to live your life not according to what someone's telling you or how they've acted or what have you. Now we have a tradition that, you know, one family believes in, one family's not really aware of it. But the bottom line is they come together to support the two that are making, you know, making this work, this union work. Yeah, um, and movies teach. And mm -hmm. hopefully this film will teach those family members that are out of control mm -hmm. that they need to chill. Like hopefully there may be some kind of conviction that may happen in right. some people mm -hmm. to where they say, man, that was unnecessary. Is that me? Or right. is that how I look? Right. Oh, I don't need to go that far, you know? So hopefully they'll just change by looking at this movie. And it doesn't have to be so dysfunctional, but we know mm -hmm. when you deal with family and history, and secrets and all that, there are a lot of dynamics that make it very uncomfortable mm -hmm. to bring people together. Um, I, I, I think we have, a, you know, we have a fantasy of what we think a marriage is. And then we have a reality that we live every day. And you have to bring the fantasy and the reality, you have to bring those two ideas closer to one another. Well, even but what was great about this movie was the commitment she made to God that she waited for six months. So it gave them something new to do. After the to wedding. get to know each other. Oh, you know? Well, so okay. <laughs> Something that when you say you get married and go, what do I do? And, you know, <laughs> even if it's a couple that have been together a while, right. they decide to you know, put a little well, you... six-month space in it and see what happens, they'll have something to do after the wedding. Okay.